Am I allergic to daylight? Because just forming a sentence is a fight, like my brain's swollen and wheezing, Sino's synapse is freezing. I cannot listen, process and reply as long as the sun is in the sky. But at night when it gets dark, my head hitting the pillow creates a spark and that is all it takes for my mind to recreate in vivid detail the time when I was eight or nine and I couldn't do the maths. So in front of the class, I sat in my seat and cried. I when I was 13 and picked last for every team because no one wanted me. I'd just get in the way. What can I say? I took it personally. Or it just turned 14 when I hurt a girl's feelings, trying to be cool, but I was just mean. I've been ashamed ever since that day, yet she probably doesn't remember me. Once the past has been fully analysed, the future can be catastrophized. Scenes play out on a private screen that only my mind's eye can see. How would I cope if my family died? Could I live without them by my side? What would I do if my house burnt down? Faulty electrics raised it to the ground. If I was told I had a tumour growing inside, how would I tell the kids that I was going to die? I have nothing to complain about. Living the ideal life, a qualified professional with two great kids and a beautiful wife. But try telling me that at two in the morning when I'm on the sofa wide awake after spending all day yawning. One after the other and over again, these thoughts chase themselves around my brain. In and out, each thought flits too fast for me to process it. I used to be scared. These thoughts were sick and absurd, but then the realisation came. Fears and fantasies are not the same. Being tortured by the hypothetic doesn't make me pathetic. It doesn't make me psychotic, neurotic or idiotic. The root cause of my pain is the fear of pain, and as I circle the drain, the thoughts rotate through my brain and self-perpetuate to recycle themselves again. And as I spiral downward, I turn and face my God. The only way for me to break free is to drop to my knees. And when the spirals got me tongue-tied and twisted, the Lord knows what's in my heart before a single word's whispered.